In this video, I'm going to run through some work examples to show you how you can prove that a function is always increasing or always decreasing. So let's look at the fundamental theory that underlies increasing and decreasing functions. So where we have an increasing function, it looks very simple. The function is going up the way. You're increasing as you increase x, y is also increasing. For a decreasing function, it's simply the opposite. As you increase x, the value of y decreases. So you can see the function is going down the way. And we can actually state a criteria mathematically that shows you whether a function is increasing or decreasing. And the rule is that if the derivative f dash of x is greater than zero, so a positive number, you have an increasing function. Whereas if f dash of x is less than zero, that means that you have a decreasing function. And if a question asks you to show that a function is always increasing or always decreasing, you have to attach another criteria to this, which is that these rules have to apply for all values of x. You may have a function that is increasing and then decreasing, and then say increasing again. In that case, you would have between certain values, you would have f dash of x is greater than zero, so it's increasing, and for other values, you would have f dash of x is less than zero. So that function wouldn't always be increasing or decreasing, but you can actually find out its behavior between each point by applying these rules. And so these rules work for any problem and are universal for increasing and decreasing functions. So let's look at two work examples. So for our first work example, we're going to look at a simple increasing function. And so the question asks, show that this uh, f of x is an increasing function. So what we need to do is prove that for every single value of x, the function is increasing. So the first step is to simply find the derivative, and that's very straightforward. The 3 comes to the front, subtract 1, and we get the 3x squared term. Then this 3 is multiplied by the 2, that gives us the minus 6x, and then we drop the x here, leaving plus 15, and the der derivative of this is obviously 0. So we get our f dash of x. What we need to do is find some way to show that for every single value of x, that this is going to be greater than 0. And because this is a nice simple one, one technique you can use is to complete the square. So we're going to complete the square here, and so we end up with this expression when we complete the square. You'll notice there's a factor of 3 that can come out of these, and then when you do that, you're going to end up with a 2, which you have, and then that goes in there, and then you want to make sure that plus 15 comes out. And the way that you could do that is by having a plus 12 on the end. So we've now completed the square, and we've got a nice expression. And when you look at this, it's very easy to work out what the absolute lowest possible value of f dash of x is. And so if we imagine that uh, x equals 1, that will make this whole bit be 0. And so the lowest possible value that you could ever get, remember this is squared, so any negatives are going to become positive. So the lowest possible value that you could ever obtain for the derivative is going to be 12. And that occurs when all of this becomes 0. So we've shown that the lowest possible value that you could ever obtain for the derivative is 12. That is, of course, greater than 0. So the lowest possible value is greater than 0. So every other value is going to be greater than 12. So every other value is going to be greater than 0. So therefore, for every single value of x, the function is going to be an increasing function. So we can conclude that this is an increasing function. So basically, what we've done is found the derivative and then found some way to prove that every single possible value is going to be positive and so therefore satisfied our condition for an increasing function. Let's look at a second work example to prove that a function is a decreasing function. And so the question is, show that f of x equals this is a decreasing function. So we've got something a little bit more complicated. As always, the key is to start by finding the derivative. And of course, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So e to the minus x, we end up with a minus here, and then we get this expression. Now, this one can be solved by just thinking about the e to the x function. And so we know that e is a positive number. e is 2 point something. So it's just a number. It's a constant that is greater than 0. And basically, any number 
to the power x is going to be greater than zero. You can try that with lots of negative numbers. You know, every single value of x possible will give a value that's greater than, than zero. And e to the minus x, any number to a minus power is, is still positive. It's still going to be greater than zero. That's just a basic property of powers. And so we can say that the minus e to the minus x is going to be less than zero because this e to the power of minus x from this statement here, this is always going to come out positive. But then when we multiply that by a negative number, it's going to make it negative. And so this function is going to end up always being, being a decreasing function because f dash of x is always going to be less than zero for these reasons here. So there is two examples of how you can prove that a function is an increasing or decreasing function for all values of x. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did help you out, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.